As we embark on this sacred journey of the Holy Week, our hearts are drawn to the significance of each day leading up to the glorious resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, on this Holy Tuesday, let us pause and reflect upon a passage from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 and 13. And Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple, and he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. These words encapsulate the righteous indignation of our Lord as he confronted the corruption and exploitation within the sacred walls of the temple. The temple, meant to be a place of worship and prayer, had been defiled by greed and dishonesty. As we meditate on this passage, we are reminded of the importance of purity and reverence in our worship. Jesus' actions here were not merely a display of anger, but a profound assertion of the sanctity of God's dwelling place. He was cleansing the temple, purging it of anything that hindered true communion with God. In our lives today, we must also examine our hearts and rid ourselves of anything that obstructs our relationship with the Lord. Just as Jesus overturned the tables in the temple, we must be willing to overturn the tables of sin and distraction in our own lives. This passage serves as a poignant reminder of the true purpose of the church. It is not a marketplace or a place for self-serving agendas. Rather, it is a sanctuary for prayer, worship, and fellowship. Let us strive to uphold the integrity of our churches, ensuring that they remain true to their calling as houses of prayer. As we journey through this Holy Week, May we follow in the footsteps of our Saviour, seeking righteousness and truth in all that we do. Let us allow his righteous anger to stir within us a passion for justice and holiness. And may our hearts be continually transformed as we draw closer to the cross and the empty tomb where we find redemption and eternal life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the events of this Holy Week, may we be reminded of your unwavering love and grace. Help us to cleanse our hearts and minds that we may worship you in spirit and in truth. Guide us in righteousness that we may walk in your ways all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you again tomorrow as you continue in your journey through this sacred season. God bless you all.